Hello and welcome back. What's that? Where's the map? It was just here a second ago. What? I could have sworn there was a map in here somewhere. What the heck? Oh, that's right. I haven't made it yet. Oh, I'm so stupid. Well, guys, you know what time it is? It's time to get a watch. <laughs> that's not a joke. Today, we are going to make a clock with all 12 biomes. First, I must draw a perfect circle. A perfect circle? Is that big enough? How big is that? That's pretty big. Yeah, that's big enough. Divide it up a little bit. Eh, I should have just done a video of everyone fighting on a big pizza, huh? That would have been much easier. All right, let's do this thing. Okie dokie, there we go. It's a little bit rough looking, but that's just how it's gonna be. Let's go ahead and throw some trees up in here. All right, maybe some plants, maybe some fruit bushes. Who cares? Okay, so here's the map. We've got the 12 pizza slice regions of all 12 biomes in a circular fashion. We're gonna place down, I don't know, maybe one race in each one. And then we're going to, every 10 years, roll for each slice on this wheel of death. So we'll place a bunch of kingdoms down, they'll start fighting and whatnot, and then periodically each slice in a rotating fashion We'll have something bad happen to it. That way we're not rolling like usual to see which kingdom gets like a bad thing. This method doesn't really care about who's winning or losing. It's just that part of the map's gonna get nuked no matter who's there kind of thing. Maybe two people are there. Maybe two kingdoms are allied there. Maybe there's a war going on there. Doesn't matter. That place is gonna get nuked if the wheel says so. We do what the wheel says at all costs. Let's do humans, elves, and dwarves skipping orcs and we're not going to do these you know what no we are we're going to put lizards in we're going to do humans elves dwarves and lizards um goblins no because they're super weak orcs no because they're super op and hive no because that means we'd have five races and that doesn't fit very well into 12 so let's go ahead and do this thing Okie dokie, we're all set up. We've got our order of kingdoms is humans, elves, dwarves, lizards. Humans, elves, dwarves, lizards. Humans, elves, dwarves, lizards. They're pretty spread out where you've got humans, they have like two pretty okay biomes and one like just all right and maybe not that good one. The dwarves have kind of a bad one. Uh, decent one and then I, th I would consider arcane sands to be one of the good ones we got elves with a just okay one uh, a good but dangerous one and then a pretty neutral one and then lizards with uh inferno which is a bad one blessed which is great and then lemon which i would say is pretty good so they're all pretty even where they all have some good and some bad all right let's get this show on the road turn this back on turn peaceful monsters off animal spawns back on it's time to get crazy already the gummy bears are destroying the humans that might just wipe them out immediately. Yep. <laughs> okay, they're gone. Not really a region you can start in because they're so strong. We might have a similar thing happen here with the elves, but I think they might be okay. Let's go ahead and spin for the first thing. All right, let's spin to see what the grass biome gets. Let's start this off. Are we starting with a necromancer? Okay, we're getting a necromancer. Sorry, boys. I don't know how strong the necromancer actually is in comparison to the other wizards. I think it's... Oh, 500 health. Okay, he's not that bad. The evil mage is super strong and like can teleport and stuff but necromancer they'll be able to handle him definitely not good news having him around but you know they'll be all right get up to 35 here you can tell that the good biomes are doing well because that's how it works we got lemon with 27 jungle with 27 blessed with 30 i got high hopes for these lizards they got blessed and the lizards are pretty strong so uh, i'm looking forward to seeing what they do if anyone doesn't already know i feel like everyone should know by now but the mod i'm using is called diversity crate um you can find it on the official discord I'll try to link it in the description, but it adds three new races and actually the ability to make multi-race kingdoms. Pretty neat. Okay, we got elves over here with 48. They're doing quite well. Okay, it's year 70. Let's see what the mushroom biome gets. Two demons? I think it's better to get the two demons than the evil mage, honestly, but I'm not sure actually. I guess we'll find out. Do they regenerate? Okay, they do. Okay, now actually this is going to be pretty tough for them too. Sucks to suck. Okay, so three regions already wiped out. Corrupted, no surprise there. Infernal, no surprise there. Candy, we saw it happen. Oh, crystal's gone too. Okay. This side of the map is pretty much gone, so maybe we won't roll for these ones if there's no one there, but as soon as they're occupied again, we'll add them back to the roll. Okay, the demons are just out here destroying everyone. Yeah, they're going to be on the map for a long time, I think. Okay, so corrupted, corrupted, infernal, candy, and crystal are all empty so next up would be savannah biome which is about to get rolled right about now evil mage let's go sorry dudes you guys were doing pretty well but not for long 
This is bad news for everyone, honestly. Yeah, get him. Get him. Does he heal? He heals. Okay. Yeah, he's gonna be here for a while, dude. That is bad news. But he teleports and he won't necessarily target just them. He's probably gonna end up going a little bit of everywhere. Chill with it. How are we doing here? What's the score? We got 86 lizards in lemon. 98, uh, well, now 101 elves in jungle. And then 78, 82 humans in swamp. But they're, look at, oh, they're over here too. They got two spots. We got a lot going on here. The elves in the jungle are up in the lead by quite a bit, but they'll be getting rolled pretty soon here. Okay, here comes the next roll. We got a bunch of wars going on. Wait till I roll for you at least. We gotta do a full rotation before you all kill each other. Napalm bomb. Okay, that's an easy one. Napalm bomb. Just one. Boom. Boom. I would say that shouldn't be that harmful, but people always walk into the fire. Okay, they're all right. They'll be fine. They'll be fine. Okay, there's a lot of wars going on here. We got Swamp is at war with the... Oh, Jungle Elves just totally turned around. Look at, they were just in the lead. Now they're down. Are the Swamp humans just destroying them right now? They are. Okay, well, in five years, they get rolled for. So let's see if the Elves can hang on that long. Yeah, because the humans were kind of on both sides of them, but still, they had 100 population. That just shows how weak they are. Oh, look. Look at this we got people moving into crystal biome and probably eventually into candy biome the lizards and the dwarves cool all right i had a feeling it was going to be pretty quick at the beginning where a lot of kingdoms got wiped out initially but i think once we get down to like the last two or three and some of them have multiple sections that's when it's going to get interesting Okay, time to roll for Swamp. The elves have their fingers crossed. They hope that they get something bad. Meteorite, that's not that bad. That's fine. Meteorite is one of the better ones. Although I think it's stronger than like the napalm bomb. I just saw a bunch of white dots running that way. I think that those were the like remainder of the elves because those are now gone. Also, why does it say that the humans have this region, but there's no buildings here? Look at that. There's This is the only building. It's not even built yet. This place is empty. They do have this. Why does it say they have this? They really don't. So now there's some adamantine ore there from the meteorite, so that's something. Okay, so jungle is now unoccupied, so we won't roll for it. We will roll for arcane sands, because they have this right here. And then, unfortunately, lemon. They're doing so well, but they're going to get something bad pretty soon here. Okay, the lizards are killing it. Looks like savannah is now empty. The lizards could actually get a win here, because both of the top two are lizards. They're really not that strong of a race. They just have pretty good damage. Their health is pretty low. Oh, these guys are blessed. That's why. Okay, because their health is usually like 70, I think. And their damage is usually like 20 something. So they're extra beefy because of blessed. So blessed lizards, I think have a good chance just because of their starting spot. And then lemon lizards also. I'd be down to see the lizards win. Okay, we're rolling for arcane sands now. The humans. Five skeletons, a cold one. We like never use these guys. I don't even know how strong they are, but let's find out, shall we? <laughs> They're so bad. They're so bad. Okay, hold on. I gotta just, just for the test. We gotta do that again. I wanna look at his stats. 100 health, 40 damage isn't bad. It's just like a slightly stronger, like regular guy. They're just freeze proof. Lizards are here doing some damage. Well, they were distracted by the cold one. Oh, is that gonna be it for them? They have this over here. No way. Okay, nice work. I think the main benefit of the lizards is whenever we use them, they're always very aggressive. And since they have such low health, but such high damage, I feel like their whole thing is just taking people by surprise. They just like show up, destroy everything super fast. And before anyone can like react, they already like destroyed everything. So look at that. Boom. Village destroyed. I think that's it for that kingdom. Wow. Okay, here we go. We are rolling for Lemon Biome, which is in second place right now. This could make or break. If they get something really bad, this is going to turn it around. Oh, Evil Mage. Woo! They almost got lucky, but they did not. Evil Mage is going to do a lot of damage to them. Buckle up, my friends. This guy is not a joke. Although they do a lot of damage, so maybe they'll be okay. And they got him a little bit weakened, but... He's already got 15 kills. Shoot, okay, well that gives the other lizards a chance to kind of swoop in, but then they're gonna have to fight the wizard too. Okay, so we got lizards over here in crystal, a little bit in candy, and then they skipped over infernal to get to corrupted, which is not going very well, but you know, whatever. Oh, these lizards are almost completely gone. Wow, okay, well we did one full rotation, and I think that might be the end of it. We are about to roll again for grass, so something bad is about to happen to the kingdom that's already getting wiped out, so. Let's find out here. Necromancer, it looks like. Very cool. Maybe the Necromancer will help them defend, you know? Maybe he'll be their buddy. I'm gonna say probably not, but it looks like they're gonna make quick work of him. Poor guy, dude, give him a chance. Oh, whoa, 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 this guy's got the staff? No way, dude. Okay, looks like they killed him. Okay, staff person. Defend your lands from the lizard people. Where are you? Your people need you. Whoa! 
Who's this? Lizard guy has got a demon sword. I forget that they can do that, honestly. That's such a surprise every time I see it. Where'd the staff guy go, though? Did he get killed? Did he light himself on fire? Dang, okay, lizards win it. What's going on here? Oh, <laughs> of course. Wow, look at them go. So what was it that we rolled on them? Was that napalm bomb? Yeah, nothing bad. They kind of had it work out for them because the two teams on their right kind of struggled a bit. They wiped out the teams on both sides, immediate sides, and then, you know, their roll was pretty weak compared to the other options and uh yeah lizards they're definitely not the strongest they looked really strong in this video but in every other time we've used them they do get killed pretty quick because they just they die so easily but since everyone was busy it was kind of perfect for them where they were able to kind of quickly swoop in with their like little strike teams well cool that was fun i'm glad we got an exactly one full rotation everything got rolled except for the empty regions of course but uh i almost thought about skipping these deadly biomes but the clock is 12 hours and there's 12 biomes i just had to use them all you know how it is okay well man that actually went faster than i expected so probably a shorter video than usual but hopefully you guys enjoyed that um and yeah gg to the lizards well done i have this map saved before i placed everything on it if you guys can come up with any cool ideas for the clock let me know i feel like it's a unique concept someone has suggested like rotating which biome is in each section every so often but i don't know how much that would really do and that would just take forever to every so often replace all 12 biomes in the middle of the video and do that like 10 times like yuck i mean if that sounds cool maybe we'll do it but i don't know if that would actually be worth the effort because i feel like that wouldn't really change much but um let me know your ideas and i'll keep my eyes on the comment section and yeah like the video if you enjoyed it and subscribe if you haven't and i will see you guys next time <laughs>